Are you on Facebook? Are you on Twitter? Are you on LinkedIn? Are you on Pinterest? Are you on TikTok? Are you on Reddit? Where where else could they be on? LinkedIn? Are you on LinkedIn? Are you on what else is there? YouTube? Duh. I can't believe I forgot YouTube. YouTube. Hello? If you are on social media, and you definitely should be, no matter what kind of website you're running, you should connect your website to your social media channels, and you should also encourage people to share your content on their social channels. Today, on WP John, right here, we're gonna go over how to install your social channels on your website so it's easy for people to follow you, and how to make your content easy to share with one click on your website, or maybe two. Maybe two. I'm not sure. Depends on how fast they are. It could be like a double click. It could be one click. I'm not sure. But that's happening right here, right now, on WP John. Bloop, bloop. That's what I'm talking about. I'm John DeBach. I've been building websites for companies and bloggers for over 10 years. Here on WP John, I teach you everything I know about WordPress and digital marketing so you can create amazing freaking websites that make money, money, money. All right, for WordPress websites to be connected to a social media account is actually not that hard. That's the good news. Most things in WordPress are easy if you just know how to do it, and that's what we're going over today. First and foremost, just think of uh, your social media channels as links. Essentially, every single social media channel you have, whether it's Facebook as a Facebook page or a Twitter account, has a URL handle. So if you're a Twitter user like I am, WP John is my Twitter handle, then my Twitter account is just twitter.com slash or backslash WP John. That a uh, little URL is what we need to connect on your website. Now, there are some classic places to put it, namely the header and the footer of your site, but also on a WordPress website, you want to consider putting it in your sidebar. Your sidebar has some great uh, little uh, uh, things about it in that it's always there. It's always on every post, it's on every page. Usually, I mean, you can obviously change the way you design your blog, but that's kind of typically how it works. So let's cover that part first, and then I'll also go over how you can have one-click uh, tweetable content or have any post automatically have these beautiful social buttons with a plugin that's free, easy to install, easy to set up, and pretty, pretty much just like hands off, I'm done. Set it up once and done. Set it up once and done. What's it called? Set it and forget it. That's what I was looking for. Set it and forget. So just let's do this again. Bloop, bloop, bloop. I'm going to show you social media plug-in where it's just set it and forget it. That was good. That was good. I'm proud of myself for that one. Came off nice. Rolled off the tongue. Let's jump in the computer. So here we are with our uh, test website. Um, and you'll see that I've already have this social stuff installed. This is if you're using the Divi theme. They actually have a really, really super simple way to do it. Um, and I'm going to show you how to do it now with uh, Divi. And so we're going to edit the footer and show you the options in that specific module. Uh, if I go to the Divi theme builder, that's my custom footer template. So I'm going to look for that template on the global footer. There it is on the theme builder page and I'm going to click on edit. That's going to launch the Divi theme builder page builder thing. Um, technical name, the thing. And then once that loads, you'll see that in this um, section of the footer, there's this module. This module is the social media follow settings. Now, this has been customized to make them black circles. The truth is, and that's just something that the theme kind of came up with on its own. I have found personally that it's actually better if you don't make it completely styled to your website. People are used to seeing Facebook in that blue, Pinterest in the red, YouTube in the red, and I think it encourages them to click if it's actually in its native kind of natural colors. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start from scratch so you can see how to use this uh, widget. I'm gonna delete this and uh, add it from scratch. So we'll click on add new module and then type in social and you'll see right there is the social media follow module uh, and you just have to click on it to install it. Now by default, it's gonna add Facebook and Twitter just to kind of give you an idea of like, hey, this is what it looks like right off the bat. But you can delete them, you can reorder them and you can obviously add more social networks. So to do the, to add more social networks, just simply click on add new social network and then you'll have a choice of different networks. They have all of these by default. 
Now, it doesn't have every single one you can think of, but the truth is, this is more than most people use to begin with. So Instagram is a big one, obviously. If you click on Instagram, you'll see it automatically uh, imports the icon and the default color for that social channel. Um, and then we'll add, uh, we'll, ch we'll add a check mark or we'll click the check mark to make it live. And then we'll add another one. Uh, maybe this one will be YouTube. And that's it. Now, one thing that I have not done is add the links to all these social channels, which is crucial. Uh, otherwise, they're just dead buttons that piss people off. And you don't want to do that. You don't want to piss people off on your site. It's not a good idea. Not a good idea. Unless you're evil and the whole reason for your website is to piss people off, then you're doing good. You're doing real good. All right, back to it. To add the link for the social channel is actually really easy. You're just going to click on any one of the gear icons to edit that individual social network uh, settings. And then in the link settings, you're just going to add your account link. So let's say your account uh, for Facebook is HTTPS slash slash Facebook.com slash evil website owner. What are you up to? And then uh, in the background, you can change the color. So if you did want to change the Facebook blue to like a aqua green, you can do that. Um, but obviously, um, if you don't and you want to revert back to the default color, this little uh, revert back arrow icon that you'll see all over the Divi site is the way to do that. So you just click on that revert back and it goes back to the default blue and you hit check, check. And oh, it didn't. And there you have your Facebook set to go. Now, one other thing I will mention is if you want to reorder these, it's actually simple. So let's say your main social account is your YouTube channel, you just click and drag and you have your reordering. You also have a lot of options like every other uh, Divi widget in the design tab. So under design, um, make sure you're in the right uh, section, by the way. So if you are seeing all of your social networking channels here and you click design, this is going to change the uh, design for all of them. Whereas if you went to content, clicked on one of the social channels and then click design, you're only uh, changing it for that one uh, icon. So in this icon, we might be able to change the icon color to orange. As you can see, the, the Facebook is changing orange. Um, but you know, we don't want to do that. So we're going to go back to the, uh, the, the thing as a whole. And uh, one thing I like to do is choose my alignment. So alignment. So if it's uh, on a sidebar, I might be centered or uh, flush right. If it's down in your footer, it might be flush left, or if you put it you know, under a menu in your footer, they might be centered as well. One thing that is um, quite useful is to also change the sizing of this. And the way I do that is by changing the custom icon size. That's in the icon menu, click on yes, and then you can change the size of the icons just by clicking and dragging it to the size you want. So if it's in the footer of a website, it might be pretty small, and you know only 10 pixels whereas if it's in a sidebar it might be rather large at like 32 pixels or 30 pixels or something like that and that's all there really is to adding uh, all these icons now if you don't have a theme like Divi that has all these built in you will need to kind of create this on your own with images it gets a little bit tricky but don't um, limit yourself if you can't find a good plugin that works for you just put links just type in Facebook and highlight it and make it a link with the default WordPress editor and say follow me on Facebook you should have these no matter what if you have these channels don't be discouraged if you don't have the Divi theme or something where it makes it really pretty just put the links up there people will follow you if they have the opportunity to and they want to I mean people who want to follow you if they see follow me on Facebook just because it's not the Facebook icon will still click on it um, so that's my kind of short little advice on how to do that 
I'm going to exit out of here. I'm going to discard and exit the uh, the changes because I didn't like the way they ended up designing. But I do want to show you the second part of this, which is how to increase social sharing on your blog posts or WordPress pre uh, pages with a very simple to use plugin. There's a lot of these out there. Uh, the one I use is actually called Sassy Social Plugin. So let's go ahead and take a look in the plugin repository for that. I'm going to type in Sassy social oh i'm in the wrong place first we have to click on add new so once you click add new then you can type in the wordpress plugin you're looking for this is sassy social that should be enough to get it to come up and it sure is i'm going to click on install now and then activate the plugin and walk you through the settings so that you could see exactly how to implement this on your site and what the options are so once you install the plugin, you're going to see this blue configure the plugin. That's going to take you off site to their tutorial on how to use the plugin, which is what I'm doing here for you. Um, and I'll just show you the way I use it in case you're interested in my own personal techniques. But obviously, if you want to read deep into their documentation, feel free to click on that link as well. So what I do is I click on the sassy social share uh menu over here on the left of the menu and it takes you to this page i'm going to just okay these little notices um hit okay and okay and this is your option panel so you can choose from round social plugins or square or rectangle that's the first choice you should make and how big they are so let's say you want to do you know that big with round you have different in terms of sizing and you'll see how this is uh, going to affect your page uh, on your front end of the site so I just want to show you where you can uh, change the uh, styling so uh, play around with these the logo color if you hover over any of these uh, question marks you can click on it and it'll uh, give you a little bit of information but what I typically use are square or rectangle ones I, I find them to be a little bit neater so I'll click square and then I'll go down to um, uh, click Save Changes, and that's all I typically add on that uh, on that panel. Now, then I go over to the standard interface, and you have two possible interfaces that you can use for this. Let me show you what that looks like on the home on uh, a blog post. So, if we go over to our blog and we click on one of the blog posts, it should be installed in live at this point, so we can get an idea of what it actually looks like. So here we are in a test post and you'll see that it's got two locations. It's at the very top of the blog post content and it's also over here on the side. It has a little arrow for it to kind of hide if, some, if, if, if people find it obtrusive, but um, otherwise it'll just stay there and stay kind of sticky on the left hand side just no matter where they are in the post. Now this is more intrusive to your reader because it's always there. At the same time, it does encourage more click through. So you kind of have to choose if you want to use it or not. The good news is you can choose which social channels you want to pick and if you want it to appear in both places, one, or if you only want to use it in very key areas. So let's go over how that works real quick. I, uh, in the, in the dashboard, you want there are two interfaces. There's the standard interface and the floating interface. You can enable or disable them. I typically use the standard one and not the floating. So under the floating, I will disable it by checking that box. Um, and then on the standard interface, I will um, change this title to whatever I want. So instead of spread the love, I might put, you know, please share. And then I skip all this stuff because this is premium features and I don't think you really need them. This plugin is great in the free version. Um, but if you want to look at their premium features, go for it. So the last step here is to choose which social channels. I think Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, Pinterest, Reddit, these are all good. I'm not familiar with, you know, um, Mix or MeWe. Um, and I don't find that people share on WhatsApp as much, but it really depends on your audience. Um, obviously, if you have an audience that is uh, big in WhatsApp, that might be a really good thing for you to add. So there's that. Where is it though? You have to find, there it is. It's right there at the top. So we'll click on the WhatsApp and these are pretty good. These are pretty good. You can also click and drag to sort the order. Um, I don't think Reddit is appropriate for this one, so I might delete that one. And I'm not so image heavy on this site, so I might take uh, Pinterest out. 
and these are pretty good. Now, the reason I'm not worried about not adding all of these things is because I'm going to enable a more button. So if you go back to the post, you'll see this little orange one is a more button. What happens there is if they click on it, they'll get any of these. So if they are one of those really hyperactive social users who wants to share on their specific Papali, whatever that is, a site then they can they just click on this share more and they're good to go and obviously there are ones that are specific to industries like google classroom and refine and trello are a little bit more business minded so if you and then they also have great email links like email or copy link so there's different tools there that you might want to consider using and they're all uh, available here but most people will just use a, the, the three or four kind of social um uh, social services that they're used to using and then you can choose if you want it at the top of the content or the bottom or both you can click to have it at the top and the bottom of the content to try and increase shares and then placements very important so right now the default is to have it show up on posts and pages I find that most people don't want it on their pages so I deactivate pages just leaving it on posts and then I'll hit save changes and we're done so if you look now on the website and I refresh the page, you'll see that the sidebar disappears and the stuff at the top shrinks down to just what I selected and the sizing and style I selected. So over here, you'll see the Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, and the more, and it's at the bottom as well with my tag, please share. And if I click on any one of these, like let's say I click on Twitter, it opens up a modal with the link and uh, the title of the blog post as well as the um, link to it. And it does that for your Facebook as well. It opens it up and encourages it to share on the Facebook. And, um, and it has the, excuse me, and it has the name and link in here as well. One thing I'll tell you is if you are going to use this social plugin, it's really important that you spend time designing a feature image. So a feature image on your blog post is going to pull into these social sharing things so that when you post with or when anyone posts with one of these buttons, it'll actually pull a nice image to go along with your post on any of the uh, social channels that accept images. So that's kind of key. If you don't have a social, if you don't have a featured image, people are just going to get a title and unless your title is really gripping, no one's really going to click on it. So it's, it's almost a useless uh, social share. Um, the other thing I'll tell you is make your titles interesting for your blog posts. If you have a really good title that says, you know, 20 ways to lose weight in two hours, that's interesting. Okay, well, I'm, I'm, I'm all ears. That's going to get more clicks and shares. So getting a good image with a good title is going to be the best ammunition you have when people share your content because that's the one click share that they're going to have. And that's the content that's going to come in and, and be promoted to their, um, to their, uh, what's it called? What's it called? Their friends. It's not their friends. It's their people. Their followers. It's what they're, what's going to be connected to their followers. So that's pretty much it. You've seen a way how to add your social media links into your header, your footer, your sidebar with Divi, or you could just add text links to your Facebook and Twitter and all that stuff. And you've also seen a way to install a great plugin that's free, quick to set up, set it and forget it style that will allow your users to have a one click or I guess technically it's two clicks because they have to click and then click yes on their own social media. But a two-click, not bad, a two-click way to share uh, your posts from your blog and your website with their followers. I'm WP John. I always say that. I always say I'm WP John. I'm not WP John. That's not my name. I'm John DeBach. Let's do it nicely. I'm John DeBach from WP John. I'm John DeBach from WP John. Hopefully this was a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful tutorial for you on social sharing buttons. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment below. If you like the video, please like and subscribe for more WordPress and digital marketing tutorials. And I'll see you next time on the WP John. Blah, 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 blah. I'm not talking right. And I'll see you next time when I have another amazing tutorial about WordPress and digital marketing.